Namaste beautiful yogis, third time is a charm, I'm shooting this for the third time. Alright, if you have peanut butter addiction, I have the solution for you. Ta-da! That's what this video is about. I have a suggestion or a really cool finding, something I discovered just uh, recently. Now, I have um, shared in the past that I love PB Fit, the organic one, and I just recently ran out of it. So I went on Amazon to reorder it and I found a few different products that I researched. I was wondering if I should buy, should I test them, should I risk it? All right, so I did risk it. And there was in particular two organic peanut flowers that looked good to me and I couldn't decide which one to buy. So Ta-da! I bought them both. This is, all this is, is organic peanut flour. Um, this one is even called protein, peanut butter protein, because all it is, is one ingredient, organic peanuts. They're defatted, both, both of them, so only a quarter of the calories comes from peanuts. They're really high in protein, just like any protein powder, the same ratio. Per 100 calories, there is uh, 11 grams of protein, 14 grams of protein here because it's a little bigger serving, 130 calories. This one has 3 grams of sugar in it, and this one has 0 grams. They both have the most phenomenal peanut butter flavor, better than peanut butter if you ask me, because peanut butter tends to coat your kind of the your tongue and your tongue and your mouth and you taste it less this is more peanutty more sweet more roasty it's phenomenal i love it you just mix it with water and then you use it or you can use it for baking too price point um both of them are around the same price two different companies both packaged in california both american peanuts um both organically certified, uh, gluten-free, batch certified. Um, they're both, I think, batch certified, gluten-free, soy-free, etc. One ingredient um, grown in USA. Those are, uh, I think, here it says that these are um, Texan peanuts. And are you kidding me? They're so high in magnesium. 21% uh, of your daily value of magnesium. Most of us are really deficient in magnesium. If you don't try to get magnesium, enough magnesium in your diet, you're deficient probably. And that causes kind of anxiety, restlessness, cramps, just stiffness in the body. Uh, it's really unpleasant symptoms. When you get enough magnesium, you're calm, rested, you sleep well. So this is really um, high in magnesium, has good amount of iron, some calcium in it just a good alternative now i wouldn't call this a whole food or you know apples cabbage and carrots type of food as far as healthiness goes but from your treat foods that are healthy that 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 would fall in that category where you kind of have fun some fun foods not just apples although when your palate is clean an apple is a massive satisfaction uh, for your taste buds but you know, when you want to spice up your food or when the food is not high quality, say, I make with this um, my um, fruit cereal in winter when the fruits are kind of okay. I chop up apples, celery, um, I throw mulberries in, bananas, I pour nut milk on top of it and some peanut flour or peanut powder and some stevia and that tastes like amazing so it gets you to eat a lot of fruit a lot a lot of fruit in a healthy way now now if you, you, some of you are gonna be like why why do I need to not eat peanut butter why do I need this powder you don't if you are just eating a little bit here and there peanut butter is obviously a healthy food the problem with it is if you overdo it is it's that it's really high in fats and it's the pro-inflammatory fats the omega 6s and you really want to have mostly a hyper a ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 in your diet because that's the anti-inflammatory fats um, so the your body is not running in an inflamed state and these powders basically have some of the fats a big percentage of the fats removed so you just get a lot of the flavor some of the proteins and carbs but no fats or less fats um so that's one of the problems it's too uh, pro-inflammatory the second problem is fats in general will re misplace other 
more important foods uh, from your diet so if you get a lot of calories from fats then you're not getting enough from other important whole foods that have nutrients and fats are devoid of nutrients really they're, they're devoid of minerals and vitamins so that's the second problem and the third which is probably the biggest problem for me it's fats will elevate your blood sugar levels and they will um, cause you to have low blood sugar dips uh, low energy etc because if you have too much fat circulating into your bloodstream they will call it your insulin receptor so when you eat sugar in the presence of a fatty diet the sugars get trapped into your bloodstream they don't go to where they're supposed to go in the cells for energy in your brain for energy they get trapped in your bloodstream you get high blood sugar you feel kind of out of sorts you don't feel good it becomes this vicious cycle where then you have the low blood uh, sugar uh, where you kind of feel fainty and so forth so that's the problem with too many fats also we as athletes or athletic people we need energy and when our blood sugar is stable obviously all our hormonal processes are running properly or should be running properly and the blood sugar is quickly converted into glycogen which is what powers our workouts what powers our muscles for our next workout so your meal of natural sugars is going to be the energy for your next workout or for the one after or the next day so that's another reason why we want to keep the fats at bay so that we can have good energy also cardiovascular capacity and so forth and there is a lot more other reasons but let's keep this short and sweet if you have a lower uh, fat diet with just enough uh, the right amount of fats good fats in your diet that will be good enough for your skin for a nice uh, soft skin but not oily uh, for hair and nails etc for uh, coating your joints so yeah we need fat just good fats and not too too many because we don't want to be just a fatty diet we want to have the good whole foods and whole foods are generally carbohydrate rich let's talk about apples carrots sweet potatoes um, even grains, buckwheat, millet, beans, they're also. So that's, that's the reason you kind of want to be careful about fats, not crazy, but careful because you want to feel good, especially if you already have blood sugar issues or a low nutrient, um, if you're deficient in certain things. Um, or if you feel inflammation, of course. So both of them, two pounds each price point is uh, under twenty dollars both of them they were just a tiny bit of difference i think a dollar difference between the two and i don't remember which one was cheaper which one was uh, but they were around the same price just under twenty dollars for two pounds uh, one was 18 something and the other was 19 something and it's two pounds of peanuts so this is a lot a lot it will last you forever it's extremely exceptionally flavorful i was just in this belief because PB fit is already pretty good and this is far better and PB fit had salt and palm sugar added to the to it this one has nothing added to it it's also cheaper than PB fit um, I think it tastes better it's more peanutty it's just absolutely a peanut butter taste bomb you can obviously make peanut butter bread banana peanut butter bread etc you can use it in so many ways um, uh, pad thai soup peanut uh, kind of thigh style soup in so many recipes uh, I have been sharing a lot of recipes on beautiful yogis group so check uh, check the group every so often to see what's happening on there also on my insta stories I've been sharing a lot I, const I generally I tend to share a lot there because it's easy I have been making an amazing latte with this just this stevia and nut milk and foam it froth it uh, heaven just the best latte so it has a lot of applications it's just a beautiful uh, addition to a vegan or to any diet all right I hope this is of value to you the links are in the description I'll talk to you soon namaste